Citizens Academy was chock full of demonstrations as today started with first aid and scene assessments. Troopers explained that when discovering an accident or a person with an illness or an injury, it's important to call 911 to get additional help and survey the scene to ensure it's safe to get involved. Academy attendees were taught the ABCs of resuscitation if they come across an unconscious person, which stand for airway, breathing, and circulation. They were also briefed on controlling severe bleeding, recognizing signs of a cardiac emergency, and the choking procedure formerly known as the Heimlich. In addition to CPR, troopers explained the importance of automated external defibrillators and tourniquets, as well as how to use both pieces of equipment. We want to make sure that you know our citizens that are in the academy feel comfortable that you know if they see something that they know what to do. We want to make sure that these people can go out and use these tools that they have out there um, to increase saves is what we're looking for, to increase somebody's chances of survival. This was not a certified CPR training session but Trooper Razin recommends people go and receive their certification. You could be assisting a family member, and that's what you need to think about. It might not be a stranger. It could be somebody that's at home. What are you going to do And having a plan so that you can take an immediate response versus being in panic mode? MSP troopers, along with other local law enforcement personnel, are certified as low-level first responders in case of emergencies and go through annual recertification within their agencies. Citizens also inquired about good faith statutes and legal repercussions for saving people. The section wrapped up with a few stories from Post Commander First Lieutenant Clint Michelin about overdose deaths and suicide attempts. The second half of class was spent discussing home invasion and personal safety. Over the last five years, the state of Michigan has shown a decline in burglaries with and without force. I guess it's a peak month for both incidents, though Trooper Resident says there's no specific reason for this trend. In 2015, nearly 3,000 people were arrested for forced entry burglary, most ranging between 17 and 24 years old. In addition, just over 600 people were arrested for burglary without force. Trooper Resident says the best way to combat and discourage burglaries at your home is actually really simple. Keep your doors and windows locked and secured even when you're home. Locked entryways can cause a burglar to either move on to the next house or cause enough ruckus to alert you that something is happening. We don't want people to be victims and, you know, they're victimized by these people that come into their homes. It's, it's a total loss for them. So um, we want to make sure that you know, our community is safe. Troopers also encourage citizens to write down serial numbers of important objects in order to identify the stolen property if it's later recovered. Reporting for ABC 10 and the CW5, I'm Chelsea Birdsaw.